Hello, I'm Colonel Chris Ruga, Garrison Commander at U.S. Army Garrison, Alaska, and Fort Wainwright. Uh, so, in past months, or normally we have a uh, community action council that updates uh, the community on what's going on, uh, hot topics, and so tonight we're going to do something similar. Um, in a socially distanced environment, we've got a group of folks that are going to cycle through um, and update you on things like uh, bridge construction projects for the summer, as well as some of the um, installation services that we are working on rolling back in in a social environment. So initially during the COVID uh, um, first couple weeks, we curtailed a absolute ton of services that the installation uh, and garrison normally provide. And as we've been able to get our feet under us with different uh, technology platforms, uh, every one of our uh, products and services that we provide to the community, we are looking at how we can best get those back in a uh, socially distanced environment. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, so bear with us as uh, we do a transition. We've got some uh, briefers that are staged just outside the room in a socially distanced manner um, so that as we uh, uh, bring folks in, we can stay a uh, good six feet apart and or wearing our masks as we're uh, cloth face coverings as we're passing folks. Um, and hopefully we'll get you some good information and we'll plan on doing this uh, at least uh, monthly um, in a, a regular basis like we used to do. So, thanks. Hi, my name is Jason Webb. I am the Fort Wainwright Bridge Inspection Program Manager. I also am a structural engineer with the with DPW, um, the project manager for the replacement of the Bailey Bridge and the repair of the River Road Bridge. Um, first on the topic is uh, the repair of the Bailey Bridge. Um, I guess we we'll go next. Um, so the bridge has been out of service since last fall. Um, on, four, four, on the 4th of April last weekend, we started the demolition. Bridge sections were lifted out about 9 o'clock on, on Saturday evening. So you probably have seen, if you're on post, the tallest items that we are objects that we have in our skyline currently. Um, the two large cranes at the end of the runway. Um, so... I was over there today. The pile driving will start tomorrow. Um, they were testing today and they should be ready to start driving piles for the foundations for the bridge um, starting tomorrow. It will be loud. It will be um, uh. um, ongoing until the, until the piles are all set. Um, so they've removed the bridge. All pieces are gone um, of the bridge itself. There's a little bit of the foundation still remaining, but it'll be gone soon. Next. Um, you can see the center section of the bridge. They've on the north side of the, of the river um, and they started moving piers um, last week. Um, this project is scheduled to be completed in mid-August, um, con contractually completed mid-August. Um, the contractor is hoping to open the bridge as soon as it is safe. Um, once they get to a point where they can have flaggers and they're going to open up the bridge, they understand the need to get the bridge open as soon as possible. Um, so, I guess we're ready for the next one. So, the River Road Bridge project um, repair is, they're scheduled to start here beginning of next month. They'll start prepping. Um, we can go to the next slide. Um, they'll be working on both sides of the river, north and north and south. Um, and can go next. Um, they will still scheduled to close the bridge on the first of June. Um, it's scheduled to be completed in mid-August. Um, the um, construction will take place. Um, 
up until mid August, but the um, contractor is hoping just like on the ba on the Bailey Bridge, as soon as they can safely get traffic even open to one lane at a time, they're going to try to 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 accommodate us as much as possible. Um, during this time, Trainer Gate will be open 24 hours a day. DES will have a patrol on the north side of the river just to keep the residents on that side with service. Um, fire will have mutual aid from the, from the city, so the residents on that side of the bridge will be um, serviced. That might be it. Good evening, Garrison, Alaska. Uh, my name is Ian Tassi. I'm the acting director for Family Morale, Welfare, and Recreation. Uh, Miss Allison Long is the director, and she's currently on broadening assignment. I want to first echo the guidance of our of our leaders and ask all of us to stay vigilant, uh, continue to to practice good hygiene, discipline, uh, and social distancing, so we can all get back to normal as fast as possible. Because I know. The whole MWR team is dying to get back in and do things like we used to do them. Having said that, virtual is the buzzword. Uh, we are expanding those virtual services more and more. One of the best ways we can communicate that to you is on our text service. And uh, you just text that number, the, the hashtag to that number, and you can hone it into whichever service you're specific specifically looking for or just all of MWR and that is one of the the best ways we get in touch with the community as well as our Facebook uh, and website and social media. Our Warrior Zone is still open that's for takeout only and it is actually open daily so Saturday it's open as well and please practice social distancing when you go in and order, order online, excuse me, order via, via telephone if possible. Um, of course, practice your face covering and social distancing when you go and pick up. Next slide, please. We wanted to highlight that our fitness team misses you all and have produced their own workout calendar that they've posted on the website as well as our Facebook. They encourage you to check it out. In addition to that, WellBeats, which is a very popular app that you usually have to subscribe for, we have a, an enterprise code that you can put in there, any of us can, uh, any of you can as well, and you get access to these fitness coaches and all these different workouts via the WellBeats app. So we strongly encourage you, if you've never heard about WellBeats, at least give it a, give it a look online, uh, assuming we are all spending a little bit more time online lately. Uh, and it's, it's certainly worth, uh, worth the effort. Our AER campaign is extended till the 30th of June, and that campaign is specifically for fundraising. You can fundraise to the AER all the time, though. The Army Emergency Relief Fund uh, is always taking donations, and we're certainly encouraging our folks to donate. We've had a pretty slow last three weeks um, with all the events that are unfolding. So please donate, but on the other side of that, um, these tough times, especially financially, some of us may need uh, a little extra, and that's why we strongly encourage you to continue to call AER. They are still open for business and have never stopped uh, with that number that's provided. That segues into Army Community Services. For those of you who've already been participating our our new parent support has been packaging these craft bags and they distribute them from Arctic Lights on Wednesdays and Fridays and then online on Mondays and Thursdays uh, they go on to Facebook live and show us how to put those together again uh, last week our commander joined us and our command sergeant major joined us to distribute those bags and 
we wanted to note that we do about 100 of them and they go pretty fast. So please check them out. And possibly our Fairbanks News Channel 11 might be out there one of these days. So there's another reason to get a plug on the news. Uh, as well as that, we have our job interviewing techniques. Uh, what better time than now when we're at home and online or on the phone than to practice our telephonic job interviewing techniques. So uh, that number is provided. Please get in touch with, um, with our employment readiness specialist. One of the three trainings for our family readiness groups has already occurred today, but these are not three, you have to attend all three. They are role specific, so whichever role uh, you want to have a class on, whether you're in it now or you plan to be or you just are interested in knowing, um, these SFRG training classes um, are, kind of give you the, the roles and responsibilities for each of those positions. We have two fantastic personal financial counselors and, and again money's weird now with, with jobs being the way they are and, and the current situation but uh, Carolyn and Gina are available via telephone and they actually are authorized to use Zoom now of course on, on Army computers and official business only we don't use Zoom but they are allowed to use Zoom so what that means is maybe you're on your cell phone or your smartphone uh, if you want to access Zoom, they are allowed to do that, these personal financial counselors. Uh, and also to know that a April is Military Saves Month, uh, all of the more reason to, to give them a call and see what they have to offer and see what kind of tips they, uh, they have to share. They've been doing this for a long time and they're certified professionals. Another set of certified professionals are, are military and family life counselors want to distinguish that a lot of times we hear military family life counselors and a lot of folks think that uh, our MFLACs only deal with military families but that is not the truth. The truth is that they're military and family uh, life counselors so we encourage military and families to take advantage of their services available on, on those phone, phone numbers that we post. They are also available for face-to-face -face social distancing uh, standards of course apply and anybody could, could, could benefit from just talking to somebody about stuff um, in any capacity. So certainly encouraging uh, their use. And finally, to close out the buzzword of virtual, uh, it's nice to, to know that there's a wealth of, of knowledge that the Army's provided via the library system. Uh, and all those, that information is available there. Lots of stuff, lots of books online. Uh, we certainly encourage you to do that as well. Good evening, Fort Wayne Wright. I'm Lane Ashcraft from the Exchange and uh, here just to talk to you real quick about uh, a new benefit. Um, we've been able to buy online and pick up in the store for some time now. We've had, we have stretched this out one more level. You can buy online and you can come up to one of our uh, six parking spots. There's a number on that. Uh, parking spot you call that number let them know who you are and we'll actually bring your order out to you versus you having to come in the building to help with social distancing um, it's a great service um, we started it Friday and we've already had uh, four people use it and several have called and talked about it it's a great option that we're trying to present for our military community Thank you. With all the changes, we have three matrices to help individuals track changes. The matrices are the facility and service tracker, events and activities, services and training. 
The matrixes will be updated as often as needed to keep everyone informed. The following slides will show just a snippet of the actual matrix. So the first one, and most people have probably already seen this one on Facebook, is the Family and Service Tracker, which is updated daily. The point of contact is Linda Winkles, and this one is posted daily on the Fort uh, Wainwright Facebook page. That information is down at the bottom. The next one and a new one that we're going to keep track of is events and activities across Fort Wainwright and Fort Greeley. The point of contact is Jess Ward and this will be located on the um, Alaska homepage, the Fort Wainwright homepage. And our next one is called the Services and Training. Tracker and Jess Ward again is the point of contact for this and a full list of these services and training will be found on the home page of the Fort Wainwright uh, web page. And so our next virtual community action council will be 12 May and I thank you all for attending.